this is another project I've been working on. I'm getting a space prepped for Heirloom Virginia Tobacco. I have 25 of these seedlings ready to go. And what I've done is back in this area is I have mulched thick in this part of the yard and I've raked back the native soil and it's very loose. So what I understand is tobacco likes to be planted two feet apart. This whole section back here will be planted with moringa. I have three seedlings currently in the ground and I do plan on planting more sunflowers and buckwheat and other random items here. So the first step of creating better soil to plant in instead of just native soil is I do sift compost and what you'll see here is a homemade soil sifter. This is just out of quarter inch, it's called hardware cloth, it's quarter inch size uh, hardware cloth or hardware mesh and we just feed this in and then you'll see it's turnable. The finer particles will fall to the bottom. Everything larger will roll off the end and I'll just break that up later and recompost it. And you see the really great, rich compost. But this still needs something more for me to plant in the ground with. And what I like to use, perlite. You ever see perlite? And then I'll just mix it in by hand. Okay, so now what I do is I'll take the mixed compost that I amended and I'll just, I'll just use it to cover in the top of this roll. So this is the basic process, you guys, of me planting tobacco. This is Virginia heirloom tobacco. If anybody out there has never grown tobacco for your garden, from what I understand, tobacco is for more than just smoking. It's a companion plant. If you're looking for a natural insecticide, the plant itself has sticky leaves, so white flies and things of that nature will get stuck to it. Uh, soaking the leaves in water and using that water to water your plants is a natural insect repellent. So this is just a big experiment for me. I plan on making uh, probably three or four, however many of these rows I can fit in this little section and I'll be planting all of these. So thank you again for tuning in. I hope you enjoy following my progress. I really appreciate your time. I hope to have another update here for you shortly. Have a good day.